Red Drum with with those chosen. Yeah. Representing the West Coast. C A C A. How y'all doing? Why don't you see it? Right, California A. California A. Now, why don't you introduce yourselves one by one? My name is Cornbread. My name is Foreshadow. I'm Geppetto. Okay, now tell me why you guys have a special bond with the Brooklyn Bodega. Why? Why do you have a special bond with us? Our bond... Tell the story. Break it down. Break it down. I'll break it down. Well, let's say in May of, uh, you know, May of 2009, we linked up with Brooklyn Bodega to do the show and prove. And you know, we came out here hustling. We was trying to get on the uh, Brooklyn Hip Hop Fest for 2009, and we didn't. But, <laughs> but in, in the process of that, we ended up getting a distribution deal, a deal with Savannah Boogie, which is part of Brooklyn Bodega. So forget a show, we doing a project. And now right. here we are back in New so, York. So that's why you know we're standing so close. We're family already. That's right. Right, right? That's now, right. Now I want to get into to your music. Now, how hard is it? I mean, do you go, are you hitting up all types of cities and sleeping two hours a week? Basically, I mean, yeah, basically, like, I think right now, tell, tell, tell the grind. Tell I'm running, I'm running down. Yeah, like let them let them know, let them know the grind. Right. Sleep is for the weary, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, we're at the point in our career where we can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? Not well, to say we, we ever slept. sleep. Never you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, sleep is overrated, and we little just, slumber, we just, little sleep. You know, we just grind. Equals so. poverty. All right. so, but when do you? I mean, being that you're, you're around, you know, performing places, when do you find time to work on your music? Do you have like kind of like a strict calendar or a regimen? Like, how do you how do you go about creating and then performing? Uh, what we do is that you know we go through these catalogs of beats that we get from our in-house producers, a group of cats that just give us beats like every week, every every day, any any time any time of the day. We just get, get to work straight up. You know what I'm saying? We just collab, we just build together, and just get to work. Like we knock shit out. Two two songs a week, maybe two songs in one session. You know what I mean? Yeah. We get straight to work. Yeah. We just, we just, the jewel of that though, the jewel of that, it kind of what keeps it structured. You know, that we hear. Yeah, hold on, hold on. One of those videos on that night. Bus. This is New saying, York. We love New York. But it keeps it structured because we usually attack it project for project. So we, we have a structure and we have a, a plan that we, we want to reach and accomplish when we you know, write music. So we don't really go out there and just drop joints just to be dropping joints. We usually have a, a, a plan behind that. So it kind of keeps it makes it easy. Okay, would you say that uh, one of your plans is? Quality versus quantity? Yes. Yeah. Always quality. Yeah. Always quality. We'd rather give okay. y'all, like, for example, this EP that's coming out, five solid songs, sound clash, spare tires, videos, bangers, visuals, creativity, you know what I'm saying? Five solid songs in 12 whatever songs, right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? We never write whatever because that's not in our right, in our right. DNA, in our right. hip-hop DNA. We write, we write from the heart. It's right. not just some silly, you know, one, two, one, two. Not a little catchy tune. It's nah, nah, more... it, it's, it has a little substance to mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. we, we hit all ranges. Not to say there's anything wrong with that. That's just no, not, no, that's wrong. Just not, like not that's just not our lane. I mean, okay. we got here all angles because life is about all angles. As mm -hmm. you can see, this is real life <laughs> right now. Street. You know what I'm saying? And somehow there's three lanes. <laughs> so any MCs out there that can't write or pen nothing, they're not living because life, life gives you so much inspiration. Now, you know, going back to the whole you'll do dope five tracks versus 12 rinky dink tracks. Now, you know what they say. If an album has five good songs, then it's a good album. Oh, right? Oh, you know that, oh. right? You know so that, then, right? So then so five is already going to be. That's all you do. You know what, really? The, Digital the, the, platinum. The strategy behind that is not to say we can't put out 12 really good songs. No, we, we can that. and we are. Rain but, food. But dropping the EP is a strategy. It's just a build up right. for the LP that's coming out in 2010. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just getting our feet wet on this tier of our career that we're in now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we stepped up from just dropping mixtapes every six months to putting out a record um, to the mass and um, we're going to test those waters out with the EP first right. kind of build up what's coming out in 2010. Okay. Yeah. And what would you say your sound is like? I mean, um, is it similar or is it different to most of the stuff that's out right now? Like, how are you guys different than all the cats that are coming out right now? What's out right now? What's out? Yeah, what's out? 
I mean, <laughs> mainstream wise or underground? Nah, nah, you don't want to ask me because you know what, what I have to do is underground. Like really, like to be uh, honest with you, that question, that's an unfair question. Okay. Um, but the honest truth is we just do what we do and we let all of you decide how we sound different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not up to us. We don't go with any specific direction. We just go from our heart. Okay. And then the listener may say you sound like them. Right. Another listener may say, I've never heard anything like that. Right. You know, it's, it's we have based obvious on it. influence. Right. It's left for interpretation. Right. Well, why don't we talk about those influences? Well, I mean, with Own Lane, that's kind of the motto. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people may hear that song and say, um, and it being real aggressive, but it's more of like we're trying to curve our own lane. Right. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of groups or MCs out there may be trying to be on somebody else's coattails and blow up. Right, right. But those chosen really believes in just building it from the ground up and creating our own lane. Right. But influences, Outcast, Outcast, Tribe mm -hmm. Conquest, NWA, NWA, right. Vintage, Ice Cube, coming right. from from Cali, you know right. what I'm saying? So, a lot of people. And how did you guys link up? We were neighborhood friends, high school homies, grew up together, families went to church together, wow. ate turkey dinners together, <laughs> way back, from way, way yeah. back. So it's like, it's real, yeah, really like Pee Wee family. football, Pee Wee everything. Okay, so Little I mean, being, being that you guys grew up together more or less, obviously the discrepancies in town would be, you're not like you're not so nice to your own family, because. You, you know them. We fight a little yeah. bit. How do, how do you um how do you separate that being friends and everything versus working on your music? Like, how do you? It's a different. It's like when you're doing music, you're you step outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of like um there's one energy, and one spirit when we're making music. Okay. So there's no separation. Okay. On a person on a personal tip, on a personal tip, yeah, we will have fights as all brothers will. Right. But, you know, it's reconciled really quick. But then, like, once you step into the studio, you forget it, then you come back out, and you're like, I ain't talking to you no more. Well, I mean, a lot, a lot of times with groups, the problem with groups is people say, well, it's like egos, you know, we all have a role. Right. Like, a lot of times you'll hear foreshadow, I'll say foreshadow one-third of those chosen. Right, right, right. So those chosen is us three. It's the it's the pedal, yeah. it's me, it's corn. The okay. beauty of a group is sometimes if I feel like doing this, Right. These two will step it up. Right. Or your pedal may be good. Right. And then I step back. That's right. the beauty. We can hit right. them from all angles. As long as you have three people with three different conversations, you hit all perspectives of life. It's universal. Right. No, Straight I, I, up. I, I, that. I, I it's, it's true because, you know, whatever issues you might have, being that the music things that you're doing and this is like such a passion, mm -hmm. it's kind of like everything kind of melts away. It doesn't even really matter. Yeah, like when very you true. Work on well, what was the purpose of pedal? No, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It goes back to what Corey was saying. You know, we just, we just, it goes back to purpose. You know what I'm saying? We just put all that other shit aside and just what, what is our purpose? And that just to, you know, we on a serious, serious mission to just put good music out, right. to touch people, to affect people, and make a change. So all that fighting and all that disagreeing and creative differences, we put all that aside and just go back to like the purpose of the whole group of those chosen. You know what I'm saying? And the music and everything. So. Purpose is a big thing, you know what I mean? See, what, Pride, that's all that's right. what you're doing it for, who you're doing it for. I like, I like that, what, what are you doing it for? What exactly. we're trying to do is utilize the infinite and omnipotent power that hip hop has that's not being utilized right now. We're trying to tap into that, utilize that, so that we can touch as many people as we can, at the same time, create records that are gonna build a legacy and keep something that we did here on this earth when we're not here mm -hmm. forever. Right. Yeah. I mean, you talk about music forever, and the ongoing question I've been asking everyone is the idea of timeless music. Immortal. You know, and, immortal. and immortal, right. And how do you plan to, to be still relevant now, 10 years from now, 20, 30 years from now? What, I mean, what's what's like, your plan? What's, the, what's your focus? Don't follow the trends. No, nah, but okay. really, on, on the real tip, just on a, on a, I'm gonna drop a gem, I'm gonna break it down for y'all. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. We're breathing today, we had a show today, we rocked it. Right now I'm worried about, we're not worried about, my thoughts are my brothers and everyone here getting home safe, right. being safe, and we'll let tomorrow deal with itself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Always prepare for the next, but don't worry about it. It'll worry right. about itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, once again, those chosen. Yeah. Five, five EP. 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 Five EP.
love look, 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 we love look, New York, look. man. It's New York, Every, all around, hey, all talk. over the place. Real? All over the place. Look at that. Look at that. Real spitter. You know what I'm saying? We love New York. This is we our second home. This is our second home. That's that. Oh, yeah. yeah. See you.